Hi everyone, here's your teacher Orlando and today's unit is cars and driving. Communicational goals. Discuss a car accident, describe a car problem, rent a car vocabulary, discuss good and bad driving. Eight habits of bad drivers. How many drivers in your city? Read and listen. Speed. Tailgate. Talk on the phone. Text while driving. Weave through traffic. Not stop at red lights. Not signal when turning. Pass in a no passing zone. Now listen again and repeat. Speed. Tailgate. Talk on the phone. Text while driving. Weave through traffic. Not stop at red lights. Not signal when turning. Pass in a no passing zone. Okay, now let's listen to the four story conversations. Read and listen to a conversation between two old friends. Brad, long time no see. Mason, you're right. It has been a long time. How have you been? I can't complain. What about you? How's the family? Great. I was just going in here to pick up a present for Marissa. Tomorrow's our fifth anniversary. Congratulations. Hey, let's have a cup of coffee and catch up on old times. There's a nice coffee place right around the corner. You won't believe what I just saw. What? This taxi was coming around the corner and he hit a bus. Someone said the guy was texting while he was driving. You've got to be kidding. Was anyone hurt? I don't think so. Thank goodness for that. I just can't stop thinking about that accident. I know. The driving in this city has always been bad. But now everyone's texting and talking on the phone instead of paying attention to the road. You can say that again. You shouldn't multitask while you're driving a car. Okay, after listening to the conversations, you're gonna match each numbered sentence with one of the quotations from the four story. Think and explain, discuss with the partner, and the speaking part. Now let's move to lesson one. This cause a car accident, car parts. Read and listen. Exterior. One. Headlight. Two. Engine. Three. Hood. Four. Windshield wiper. Five. Windshield. Six. Sunroof. Seven. Trunk. Eight. Taillight. Nine. Turn signal light. Ten. Bumper. Eleven. Tire. Twelve. Side view mirror. Thirteen. Window. Fourteen. Door. Interior. One. Steering wheel. Two. Horn. Three. Dashboard. Four. Gas pedal. Five. Brake pedal. Six. Clutch. 
7. Gear shift. 8. Rear view mirror. 9. Emergency brake. 10. Seat belt. All right. Take turns identifying the car part for each definition. Grammar part, the past continuous. We are going to use the past continuous to describe an activity that continued during a period of time in the past or at a specific time in the past. For that, we are going to use the past of the verb to be, was a word, and the ing verbs. The car was making a funny sound while they were driving. I was watching TV this morning. My parents were working late last night. So that is the past continuous to describe an activity that continue into or during a period of time in the past. The simple past then describe a completed past action. When we use regular and irregular verbs in the past, use when to combine a continuum past action with completed action. So you can also combine the past continuous with a simple past tense. It was raining when she had the accident. One action interrupts the other. Okay, now you're going to complete the paragraph with the past continuous and the simple past tense here. Listen to the conversations about accidents. Write the number of each conversation in the box under the picture. Conversation one. Oh no, what happened to your car? A tree fell on it in the storm. Look at your windshield. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get it replaced. Conversation two. Oh no, what happened to your hood? I had an accident. I hit a parked car. How did that happen? I fell asleep. Conversation three. I can't drive my car. I had an accident. Oh, I'm sorry. What happened? The brakes failed and I hit a tree. Oh no, was there much damage? Well, I'll have to replace the bumper and the right headlight. Conversation four. I had an accident. Oh no, what happened? This other car smashed into my trunk. Was anyone hurt? No, but the car is gonna cost an arm and a leg to fix. Read and listen to a conversation about a car accident. I had an accident. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. No one was hurt. Thank goodness. How did it happen? Well, the other driver was tailgating and he hit my car. Oh no. Was there much damage? No. I'll only have to replace a tail light. Listen again and repeat. Then practice the conversation model with a partner. I had an accident. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. No one was hurt. Thank goodness. How did it happen? Well, the other driver was tailgating and he hit my car. Oh no. Was there much damage? No, I'll only have to replace a tail light. Listen and repeat with concern. I'm so sorry. Oh no. How awful. I'm sorry to hear that. That's terrible. With relief. Thank goodness. 
What a relief. That's good. Lesson two, describe a car problem. In this lesson, we're gonna see some phrasal verbs for talking about cards. Phrasal verbs are combinations of ordinary verbs like put, take, come, and go, and particles. Particles are prepositions like in, out, on, of, etc. Some phrasal verbs are very easy to understand. For example, it is not difficult to understand sit down or come in because their meaning are obvious, but many phrasal verbs are idiomatic. Idiomatic means that there is no way to know what the verb and particle mean together. So this is a very important topic that we are going to talk about it or explain with more details later. Let's go with the pronunciation. Read and listen. Turn on. Turn off. Pick up. Fill up. Drop off. Now listen again and repeat. Turn on. Turn off. Pick up. Fill up. Drop off. Okay, now you're going to complete the exercise using these phrasal verbs. So here we have placement of direct objects with phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs contain a verb like turn and a particle like a preposition that go together that together have their own meaning. For example, turn on means start a machine. Start a machine. But many phrasal verbs are separable. This means that a direct object, noun, can come before or after the particle. Turn on, turn off, pick up, drop off, and fill up are separable. For example, you can say, I'll drop off the car or I drove the car off. Both ways are correct. Read and listen. One. I'd like to pick up my car. Okay. What time can you pick it up? Two. They need to drop off the keys. Great. When do they want to drop them off? Now listen again and repeat. I'd like to pick up my car. Okay, what time can you pick it up? They need to drop off the keys. Great, when do they want to drop them off? All right, let's continue now with this exercise, write statements or questions, placing the direct objects correctly. Then practice reading the sentences aloud with a partner. Use correct stress. Read and listen to someone describing a car problem. I'm dropping off my car. Was everything okay? Well, actually, the windshield wipers aren't working. I'm sorry to hear that. Any other problems? No, that's it. Is the gas tank full? Yes, I just filled it up. Listen again and repeat. Then practice the conversation model with a partner. I'm dropping off my car. Was everything okay? Well, actually, the windshield wipers aren't working. I'm sorry to hear that. Any other problems? No, that's it. Is the gas tank full? 
Yes, I just filled it up. 